If you watch my channel a lot, you know I'm a big Midjourney fangirl. Midjourney creates stunning works of art with just about any prompt I throw at it. But I'm often asked if it's possible to achieve the same results for free. So I'm putting it to the test. Can I replicate Midjourney's captivating style using stable diffusion? The results might surprise you. Midjourney is a powerful AI image generator that runs through Discord. You can create stunning and artistic images with just a few prompts. When you sign up, you get 25 image generations for free, but then you'll need to purchase a subscription to continue creating. Many users have found it well worth the investment. The community is active and supportive, and the images are creative. But you can use Stable Diffusion for free with the right computer setup and a bit of technical know-how. And if you're not quite ready to dive into the technical side, many websites now offer Stable Diffusion where you can use at least the basic program for free. But here's the million dollar question. Can you achieve the same captivating Midjourney style using a free Stable Diffusion interface? Midjourney AI creates images that are often described as surreal, dreamlike, or otherworldly. The images tend to be painterly and have an ethereal or fantastical quality, and many contain a sense of mystery or intrigue. Many Midjourney images have a distinct look that sets them apart from the other AI image generators. Midjourney can create images in a wide variety of art styles, but you'll get a glimpse of its unique style when you prompt a random string of numbers or nonsense words. You'll see a lot of sad, ethereal girls in an art germ style, mysterious vehicles in the middle of a deserted landscape, and otherworldly concept art. Stable Diffusion also has a distinctive style. Images tend to be more detailed, naturalistic, and realistic. They have a high level of detail with accurate textures and a high degree of realism in lighting, shadows, and reflections. But you're not going to get to this style without a lot of prompting know-how. I can't use the same trick of prompting random numbers or nonsense words and get a beautiful image in Stable Diffusion. So in my experiment to get the Midjourney style in Stable Diffusion, I started with the obvious. I asked Stable Diffusion to give me an image in the style of Midjourney. Even after trying a few Stable Diffusion models, nothing came anywhere close to replicating Midjourney style. It's not going to be that easy. I even tried a prompt that was a little bit more mainstream. Here's a set of four images and the prompt. The prompt works okay in Stable Diffusion, it just doesn't look like a Midjourney image. Adding Midjourney style to the prompt changes the image a little in the right direction, but I'd never mistake the image for a Midjourney one. I'm going to need a little extra help in my quest to replicate Midjourney's captivating style, so I turn to a tool that I've used before, Clip Interrogator. Clip Interrogator looks at an image and suggests a prompt, so I fed some Midjourney images through Clip Interrogator, and with its suggested prompts in hand, I turned to Stable Diffusion. The results were closer, the subject was in the right ballpark, but the style isn't Midjourney. I did discover a few artists that I didn't know, but the artist didn't seem to have a lot to do with the image style. It's not the first time I've been puzzled by the artists suggested by Clip Interrogator. On a mission to find a prompt recipe to reproduce Midjourney's style, I scoured the internet for leads, but I either found that the images didn't really look like Midjourney, or I couldn't replicate the results myself. Just when I was about to give up, I stumbled upon a recipe on Reddit that caught my eye. The creator had accidentally discovered two prompt recipes that could potentially replicate Midjourney's style. The post was a bit older, dating back to when Midjourney was still in version 3 and Stable Diffusion was in version 1.5, but feeling adventurous, I decided to give it a go and see if these recipes still held up. I used the same prompt and seed in both Midjourney and Stable Diffusion, and the results were promising. Can you tell which is Midjourney and which is Stable Diffusion? A seasoned AI image creator can probably tell, but the styles are getting pretty close. I tried the second prompt recipe. The artists are different, but the results held. I could still pick out the Stable Diffusion image, but the style was close to Midjourney. So it looks like the trick is in the unique combination of artists and styles. When I removed all the artistic styles and the artists, the image faded to a more generic Stable Diffusion style. But now for the real test. Let's see if the recipe is flexible enough to apply to a new prompt. I mashed the tree prompt that I showed earlier with the first Midjourney prompt recipe. The results were less convincing. There's nothing wrong with this Stable Diffusion image. The artist's styles are coming through, but it's missing some of the Midjourney fantasy. So in theory, it seems possible to prompt into the Midjourney style with a combination of artistic styles. You'll need to include the right combination of artists in your prompt, and I'm not sure we've quite hit on the right recipe. 
Finding the exact right combination is going to take some time, so I decided to look for an easier method. Training AI image models is all the rage these days, and I discovered one that had already been trained on mid-journey images. Introducing Open Journey. Let's put it to the test and see if it lives up to the hype. There's no place on the demo to enter a seed, but I ran the prompt a number of times to get a feel for the variety of images produced. I like a number of these images, but the results still looked a little bit more like Stable Diffusion than they did Mid Journey. But the choppy details reminded me a little of Mid Journey version 3. It made me wonder how the model was trained. Mid Journey has been through a number of versions in the last year and only recently switched to version 4 as the default, and version 4 even has two models. Depending on how Open Journey was trained, it may be picking up on various versions of Mid Journey. So I trained my own AI model on Dreambooth using Mid Journey version 4B images that I generated with nonsense prompts. These prompts give me a more general Mid Journey style without my artistic preferences getting in the way. These are the closest yet. Maybe not quite the result I got in Mid Journey, but beautiful images nonetheless. Is it possible to create Mid Journey style in Stable Diffusion? Yes, sort of. To get Midjourney's style, you're going to have to find the right combination of artistic styles or train a model. You're not going to get the exact Midjourney style, but you can get images inspired by Midjourney. For me, I'm sticking with Midjourney. I love the community vibe and I want to see what comes next. That and I don't want to work so hard to create nice images. Technically, with some work, you can recreate some of Midjourney's styling in Stable Diffusion, but Midjourney has some magic pixie dust that gives the images a unique look. If you're up for some experimentation with creating a Midjourney style in Stable Diffusion, share your tips and tricks in the comments below. If this video was helpful, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is Janet making the photo. Let's make something amazing together.